one of the great things about GIS is that when you have an, a layer that has a whole bunch of categories, as we have right here, and this is the layer that we created by taking a union of the reserves layer and the vegetation data, and we create this layer right here that um, has all the necessary information. So it has uh, vegetation right there, vegetation right there, but we also see that this is the Alexander Reserve right there. So whatever we see Alexander there is all within the reserve. So what we can do is say anything that's Alexander, you know, use that to create a new polygon. So it's going to go and get rid of these boundaries because they're all within the reserve. In other words, we're going to undo the previous operation by merging everything together that is within the reserve. So um, how do we do that? We go to Vector, Geoprocessing Tools, Dissolve. So we're going to get rid of boundaries that are dividing things that don't need to be divided. So another type of example would be vegetation zones and that um, you know, there are different categories of uh, uh, pine trees that we don't want to separate, so you can use the solve, and you just want all the pines together without any lines in between. Or you merge two map sheets, and there's a lake on both of them, and the lake, there's a line right down the middle of the lake. Using the solve, you can get rid of the line in the middle of the lake. So, very uh, straightforward kind of operation. So we want to grab the layer that's, uh, that we created, uh, the Vegetation Reserve Union, the one that, that we see underneath here. And then it asks for what field that we want to use. Um, and we saw that alternative name, it's Alexander for all the um, instances where it's inside the reserve. So now we're going to create um, the output layer and I'll call it the Solve Example. Save. Okay. It's going to take a couple of seconds to do because it, uh, it's a bigger operation because it's figuring it all out for all the reserves uh, and for all the vegetation. And when it's done, it's just going to come back and uh, create one single area right here that has all everything combined as a single reserve and all the other polygon boundaries are gone. And now it's picking up some speed. There it goes. Yes, please. And you can see that, you know, you basically have the polygon and so on. And now you could also do a query and find all the instances where the uh, alternative name is blank and make it later editable and delete all the stuff that's outside the reserve. So very straightforward and easy to do. So these are the kinds of things that you can do um, very easily. And this um, the solve function, very useful for a number of different operations.